What is going on guys? Um, Pat on the shop here. I just wanted to show you uh, a quick easy way you can check for cracks on your vortex cylinder head or any other cylinder head uh, aluminum or cast iron at home uh, as you guys probably seen in my other videos uh, vortex heads are very prone to cracking not so much of the old school where they crack um, in the valve seats which they do from the exhaust valve seat often um, these ones are 906s so they have the press in valve seats so not as common for cracking but cracking on the deck surface is super common on vortex heads they have a thin deck and they seem to crack especially if an engine's been overheated and sometimes if not they just uh, they just randomly crack and it's really unfortunate like for example for this cylinder head this is a really nice head uh, valve guides are all in good shape seats are in great shape but uh, there's going to be cracks in this deck so I'm going to show you with this Goodson three-part um, Alumacheck uh, kit that you can get right from Goodson. Uh, it works really good for a cast iron or aluminum, like I said, uh, and it's and it's a really easy way to check uh, heads uh, without having to take them to the machine shop. Because if you have a scrap head or a head you you think is good, you take it. You already paid for it, and then you take it to the machine shop and have to spend more for them just to tell you it's no good. Uh, whereas if you buy a kit like this. It's just going to keep paying for itself, especially if you're going through a bunch of these heads like it's I do. It's a three-part so. kit. You got a cleaner, you got a penetrant die, and you got a developer. Uh, you start with making sure the the deck is fairly clean, uh, and you clean it all off with the cleaner. You spray it with the penetrant, penetrant die, let it soak in, wipe the excess off, and then you hit it with a developer, and then the cracks kind of show their, their ugly face there uh, if, if you have cracks. Hopefully you guys don't, but a lot of these times with the Vortec heads, you will find cracks. So, And then at that point, they're scraps. So, so let me show you how this works, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to focus more on the deck surface than I am the actual uh, chambers because this head's going to have uh, cracks in the deck which you'll be able to see real soon. So we just clean it off, let her dry for a second with the cleaner and then we're going to hit it with the penetrant die. This stuff is messy so make sure you have a towel down. And then we're gonna let that soak for uh, five to 10 minutes. All right, so now that's sat for uh, 10 minutes, we're gonna wipe off the excess. It's still gonna have a bit of a stain to it, but just as long as you get off the excess. Uh, you can let it sit up to 20 minutes or so, but I usually do 10 minutes, 10, sometimes 15 minutes. All right, just like that. And then next we're gonna take the developer and we're gonna spray the rest of the head again. And this is where you'll see the cracks develop. So there you go. Uh, there's the crack that I was talking about when I first looked at these heads, you start to kind of get an idea of where they crack. This being, the center being the most common spot, but you can see right here how this stuff works, is the the die will sit in the crack and find its way into the crack, and when you spray the developer on it, and it kind of turns into this like powdery, it, it kind of soaks in, and then the it, the die kind of shows, its, uh, shows itself through the crack, so yeah, this like this is stereotypical uh, Vortec deck crack. Usually right in here. Uh, so I've had them go right across the center here like this. Um, so basically, this head uh, is pretty much scrapped. There's some guys that'll fix them, but I find you know once they crack, that's pretty much the end of it for me for screwing around. Uh, I might use this as just a demo head, a mock-up head, uh, you know. I, it's a shame because the rest of this head is in such good shape. It's too bad that it's cracked. In my last video, I talked about uh, making sure you get them checked for cracks before you start pulling studs out. 
And as you can see, I started pulling the studs out of this one. This is, I've had this head for a, a couple years. And I remember I checked the deck surface, uh, everything was good. Uh, I started pulling the studs and, and tapping them like I do for the screw and studs when I noticed a weird crack in the exhaust. Uh, you can really see it now because I've accentuated with uh, the die, but I'm gonna throw some uh, developer on it and now you'll really be able to see it. There's a perfect example on how well this this die uh, this die crack checking works. Um, look how big and nasty this crack looks now uh, after doing the die. I, this is the actually the first one that I've ever seen on a Vortec crack like this. And uh, this head of heads have done some work to it. It had been mildly ported, uh, but until we threw dye on it, I actually noticed a little bit of just a slight crack. And then when I actually uh, crack checked it, um, I noticed this huge crack developing right off from the exhaust manifold bolt. Um, so there's a perfect example of why I really checked the, you know, any head, but Vortec heads, especially before I put a lot of time, because I've had time, you know, porting time into this, uh, you know, the stud pulling time into this and tapping, uh, and then I could have saved myself so much time if I would have just, uh, seen that crack right from the get-go. So now I know ever since this head, I always check um, at the exhaust bolts. This is the only one I've ever seen, but there you go. So I don't know what the deal there is, if it was over tightened or what, or I don't know. I've never seen one crack like that on these Vortec heads before. This was the first and the only one so far, but. So there you go guys, uh, there's an easy way you can check for cracks on your cylinder heads at home. This stuff actually works on any cast iron or aluminum, so if, even if you're checking, you know, anything, front end components that you might think have cracks in them, some of the cast parts, I don't know, whatever you want. This stuff works really well uh, for, for seeping into small cracks, but uh, so far I've only used it on, uh, on aluminum and uh, cast iron heads mostly Vortec heads because uh, those are what I deal with a lot and they're just prone for cracking. You buy this kit, it's not that expensive. Um, it might not be worth it if you're just doing one set of heads, but if you're the guys that are looking for Vortec heads in junkyards, uh, and some of these guys, I had one guy emailing me, he said he was almost giving up because he's gone through like five sets of heads and they've all been cracked. So if he's taking them to the machine shop every time, um, he you know might want to invest in one of these kits because it, it's going to be one check to the machine shop, one or two, it'll be paid for after that, you're laughing. So uh, not a bad idea. Even before, uh, even before you 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 spray this stuff on, like I like I said, I can usually pick up on the cracks. Um, I used to get a Magnaflex and stuff, but usually, if me with me just checking them um, by eye before I even use this three do this three step kit, I can usually see them by eye. That's why I knew that other one I just checked was cracked. Uh, but sometimes I've had them where they're just starting or they're really fine cracks and you won't be able to see them by eye, but this stuff seems to pick them up pretty good. So uh, there you go. Please like and subscribe. Uh, putting out videos all the time. Thanks, guys.